Hey guys, as I film this, it's currently Sunday, December 16th, a little after 2 in the morning. Uh, as you can tell by my sweatshirt, I was at the Xavier University men's basketball game. They defeated the Eastern Kentucky University Colonels. It's a big win for Xavier. They needed it after going down to the UC Bearcats, another team I root for. Uh, they lost to the Bearcats in the Crosstown shootout last week, and that was a good rebound win for the Xavier Musketeers as they tried to finally get a, a signature win. Eastern Kentucky is definitely not a signature win for them. But it's definitely getting him back on the right track. Hopefully they continue to play better and get some more wins down the road. Uh, but before I went to the Xavier game today, I was actually out and about in Cincinnati. And I placed an order for a Harry Wright bobblehead that the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum was offering. Uh, this was originally advertised to be given out if you made a $186.90 donation to the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum. 150th anniversary legacy campaign renovation project. The Red Hall of Fame is currently undergoing a big time renovation and to help raise funds that go along with the Reds 150th anniversary of being Major League Baseball's first professional team. I've made donation in various increments of 1869 since that's the year the Reds were founded. You got different uh, souvenirs like the bobblehead, um, Reds, uh, Reds Hall of Fame passes, bust of Harry and George Wright, um, but for Reds Hall of Fame members, I got an email this past week saying if you made a donation of $15, you got a Reds Christmas stocking and the Harry Wright bobblehead, and that was the key, a deal too good to pass up, so being a Reds Hall of Fame museum member, I was offered that promotion and jumped, jumped right on it, so I made the donation. Went down to the stadium, picked up my bobblehead and stocking today, so I'll show you the stocking first. Uh, very cool looking stocking. Here it is. Uh, it's got the white Santa stuff on top, red in color, and it's got the old red slash say red stocking logo C right there. Very cool. And there's a little hook thing you can hang, um, hang it over the fireplace if you want. But yeah, that's the uh, red Christmas stocking that came with the bobblehead. And now on to the bobblehead. Without any further ado, let's box this thing and see how it looks. So we've got Harry Wright around the front of the box there. You can see what the bobblehead looks like. It has some like fancy border around it right there. Um, the top actually says in black letters Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. Uh, this side has a uh, has says the has the Cincinnati Reds old logo established 1869 to baseball bats. Harry Wright's Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum plaque and what looks like his autograph right there. Uh, the back has a little bit of Harry Wright as well as a picture of the original 1869 Cincinnati Reds stockings baseball team. Uh, this side has some information about the uh, 150th anniversary legacy campaign and how you can donate and stuff like that. It has the Red Hall of Fame logo and it says Dinsmore. I'm not sure if they sponsored the bobblehead or it's just because they're the uh, Red Hall of Fame and Museum sponsor. Uh, the bottom is just plain and red and the top has the Red's 150th anniversary logo on top right there. So yeah, this is a bobblehead of Harry Wright. He is considered to be the father of professional baseball. 1869, he went out and got uh, signed a bunch of the best baseball players around to come play for the Cincinnati Red Stockings. I think they went 57-0 and 0 that year. Perfect record because they were undefeated, taking on a bunch of uh, amateur slash professional teams. Uh, they were the first full professional team, meaning every player on that team was paid. And uh, let me get the, actually we got a little card in here. Uh, so the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame with the 150th anniversary logo. And it's a, oh, it's a complimentary ticket for the uh, Reds Hall of Fame that expires on October 31st, 2019. Pretty cool. Did not know that was going to be in there. So yeah, here's the ticket for the Reds Hall of Fame. That's a neat little bonus. And then uh, here's the bobblehead. Let me get out of the styrofoam. And I'll show you what the Harry Wright bobblehead looks like. And yeah, as I said, uh, he's the reason we have modern professional baseball today, and uh, I guess you can consider him to be the first professional Cincinnati Reds player. He was their captain, center fielder, I think he was a pitcher too, and uh, I love that they gave out this bobblehead. So let me uh, pop this out, uh, show you guys what it looks like. Here is the Harry Wright 150th Anniversary Red Hall of Fame Museum bobblehead. Looks good. Uh, it has his name in white letters on the red base, which is a square. The top uh, is just brown in color, and it has like a slot thing in the back, maybe for the Red Hall of Fame ticket. I'm not sure. I, mean, I guess you'd slide it in there. It doesn't really fit. Um, the back, it's got his old uniform, just plain. 
uh, his stockings but are red. And look at those high uh, baseball boots with the brown trim. He's got a baseball bat, the old Reds logo right there. Plain white hat and a sick looking mustache sideburn mutton chop combo right there. Can't go wrong with the 1860s style facial hair. And yeah, very cool bobblehead of Harry Wright. Uh, the main reason we have professional baseball today, the reason why Cincinnati is a baseball town, and the reason why the Cincinnati Reds, the world's first ever professional baseball team, are in existence. So without Harry Wright, there's no Reds, there's no World Series, there's no Major League Baseball. So uh, very cool that the Reds gave out this bobblehead of the reason why Major League Baseball and professional baseball in general is around today. Uh, very, very cool. Um, as I said, it was a $15 donation for Reds Hall of Fame and museum members. Got the stocking with that as well, but I just really wanted the bobblehead. The stocking was a nice bonus. And very excited to have this in my collection. I wish the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum would do more stuff like this. Uh, I'm talking about like bobbleheads of players from way back in the day, like Harry Wright. I know he has a brother, George Wright, who was on that team. He's really one of the best shortstops of that era. I'd like to see them do a bobblehead of him. Uh, possibly Fred Hutchinson. Uh, some other uh, players from back in like the 1960s and beyond, not just 70s and current. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool bobblehead. This will be added to the bobblehead page on our website, cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. There's a link to that in the description below. Give me a follow on Twitter, at cincyfanzone. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.